Good morning everyone. I am architect Sonora and in this video tutorial I am going to start 3ds Max for architects and interior designers and in my first uh, video tutorial I will tell you about user interface and the basic installation method of 3ds Max from Autodex. You can follow my earlier tutorials about uh, Revit installation and uh, AutoCAD installation the methods are same so uh, user interface are the basic tools and commands which are used in every software for planning and rendering so in 3ds Max also if you will open 3ds Max this four uh, window will be open uh, by default and these are called viewports so you are seeing here that it's written top standard wireframe so this is for the top view and this is for front it's written front standard wireframe so this is for seeing the front elevation of the object or any building and this is left side elevation and here you will draw perspective here and suppose uh, i'm drawing any box here so you can see all the four elevations plan 3d and left side so these are called viewports and here it is given some uh, like uh, how you want to see your viewport you can use this category of viewing your viewports and in here is one arrow which you if you will click so this is a standard viewports layout so if you want to see uh, some other designing of viewing uh, your viewport so you can click one by one suppose I, if i am clicking this we are seeing that your viewport is changed so one two and three if i am going to uh, click uh, this arrow and i am going to select this last one so you are saying these all are three are smaller and this perspective is bigger larger. so you can use any of them to visualize your scenes or else you can i will prefer uh, to uh, use your default setting this viewport and also you can uh, drag and adjust your viewports so and these are called view cubes it is given in revit also and autocad also so that these things we can use to rotate our scenes and uh, here it is uh, this is file for opening new uh, files uh, uh, making new files you can click here new and you can uh, reset your scenes also if i'm making any uh, suppose box here i'm drawing box and if something is uh, not working so i can reset my scene by going reset and it will ask the scene has been modified save changes if you want to save your scene you can click save if you are not happy with your scene you can click here don't save and you can click cancel if you don't want any changes so i am going to click uh, reset and don't save so do you really want to reset i will click yes so everything will be changed and you are seeing that here it is single uh, viewport that is for perspective is now visible so if you want to see all of the viewports you have to enter shortcut command alt w or you can also use this command that i will discuss later and uh, after that uh, these all are generally import and exports and you can import your uh, max files on some other uh, you can link revit also in 2020 and you can link your autocad uh, file also that we will discuss and you can export your 3ds max model also you can share also you can send to uh, maya also motion blur mode box so these are general setting and here it is some edit you can edit delete your files move rotate but uh, it is given some other place also like here also in your main toolbar that is called ribbon so it, uh, basically we use from our ribbon toolbar also but if you want to uh, edit from here also you can move rotate scale and move rotate scale is also given here 
after that you can group and ungroup your scene and uh, after that uh, this is a view view views uh, for doing some commands like view cube so your view cube is given this is view cube if you want to hide your view cube you will use this view cube and you have to just uncheck this so the view cube if you uncheck this your view cube will be disappear so uh, these are also handy and if you want to again bring it you have to just click this and these are create so uh, create a standard primitives and extended primitives ac objects compound and these all things are given here also this is create pan this all are this plus sign is symbol of create and uh, that i will tell you now and same thing is given here create so Many things are given in 3 ds Max at two to three places. So these all are like you are saying a standard primitive here also. Here is also a standard primitive. So you can use uh, either any of or two of them. So uh, after that, this is modifiers and uh, selection modifiers and all these all are given here in modifier list also. This is for using animation if you want to make any walkthrough so not all commands are necessary for uh, like architects and interior designer so uh, i will tell you in later video i will make walkthrough these are graph editors and uh, and this is the most important rendering part if you want to render your scene you have to click this render and if you uh, do if you want to do some editing in v-ray or uh, by default max is also some uh, rendering engines like uh, arnold and uh, mental ray and also that you can use this render setup and there are a lot of sending for like environment exposure control that i will tell you uh, later and then this is very important rendering and after that you want to see civil view you can use this also this is not that much important and another important is customize for setting of your units in 3ds max you have to click this uh, unit setup and also if you want to see any toolbar also you have to go to show user interface i will discuss and uh, if you want to um, Custom U is UI stands for user interface and default feature. If you click this, then this will choose initial setting for two loss. If you want to uh, see viewports color also, you can change the color also. And earlier 3ds Max it was lighter gray. So these all are things like uh, this M light. Then your uh, scene will be uh, this viewport will become lighter and after that you can click set so your viewport will be changed to lighter gray so i uh, can use this uh, lighter viewports also seen in your scene if you want you have to again go to your default feature and you have to click this default ui and you have to click set so you can use your uh, different some colors also in 3ds max like autocad so uh, the options are less you can go for right uh, this dark and right gray and uh, these all are redo undo and redo these are select links and th this is for rectangular selection region window crossing this is for selecting your object and this is select and move tool which i so do you uh, here also uh, in uh, like uh, edit you no know, move and rotate scale these all are things are given here also so i will use from here only select and move rotate scale select and place and these are snap toggle tools these are also very important and uh, this is for so ribbon if you want to uh, see ribbon also you can click you can hide also so and after this this is align tool and this is mirror tool these all are given in tools also like align add a mirror so you have to uh, be precise in selecting because uh, in 3ds max it's given two to three places same command 
either you can use your main toolbar or your tool panel here also and these all are the create panel so you are creating a standard primitives like what is a standard primitive these are basic primary objects like in architecture and interior design you uh, study in engineering drawing about basic shapes like box sphere cylinder pyramid cube cuboid these all are things for basic modeling like box i showed you in the beginning only how you will make box if you want to make pyramid also i will make tutorial on the standard primitive also and uh, in this uh, create panel this is this circle shows geometry so the, in geometry this is a standard primitive and the, in this a standard primitive upper a standard primitive there are extended primitive also like headrush chamfer box chamfer cylinder capsule so these all are also extended part of your basic primary solids and after that these are shapes in shapes this is all over 2d shapes like line circle arc ellipse and all that we will discuss and this for light if you want to render your scene and you want to use lighting in lighting there are a lot of uh, photometric lighting a standard lighting or no lighting if you install v-ray here so v-ray will be also visible here because right now i have not installed v-ray but i will show it so you in later videos how will install v-ray and it will be automatically visible here and these are for camera setting this is symbol of camera a standard and our mold is uh, the means after later version of 3d max it is given our mold and before that it was mental ray and if you install V-Ray, it will be also visible. Camera, V-Ray physical camera will be visible here. These all are like uh, your, some settings of most uh, helper command. These are all not that much of importance. And this is the space traps. And these are all like some lighting, some setting, and some light is setting is also given here. So we will discuss it. And uh, after that, this is our selection. Tools. If you want to search something, you can uh, search it here. And uh, after that, um, these are all are the. In we'll go to this below commands. And here it is given. This is like a scale thing. This is for making animation, like frame by frame. If you want to make walk through, you can use this a scale panel zero by hundred. That means hundred frames. And if you want to render hundred frames, you can use this if you want to move 500 also by editing this you can set it to 500 so that will be later part in walkthrough tutorial i will make tutorial on this these are our xyz coordinates like xyz coordinates so if you want to move your object you can use z for 3d also going upward in y direction and x direction so it will automatically so your where is my object x at y x how much distance y and z so if you will uh, move your offset then your dimension is changing if i am moving in y direction dimension is changing and moving in x direction dimension is changing so this is also helpful and this is for playing your animations and forward and backward that is a little part and these are keyframe these all are animation setting and here it is uh, this is for your uh, viewing your zoom and zoom in out zoom select all, all and uh, seeing your viewport and uh, how to orbit your object uh, i will make video on this these are also very handy so this is the basic user interface setting so uh, in, uh, in this first tutorial i have showed you how you use your tools and command for architecture interior designing visualization so if you like my video please please subscribe my channel software mania and give your valuable comments i'm making video tutorials on autocad rabbit 3ds max and in later photoshop for architects and Ruby for architects and interior designer also so thanks for watching